Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5, verse 23 to 24, Therefore, if you are offering your gift at the altar, and there remember that your brother or sister has something against you, leave your gift there in front of the altar. First go and be reconciled to them, then come and offer your gift. My name is Karita Bagara. I'm the Deputy Bishop of Christ is the Answer Ministries. And today we want to look at what is it that can stop your prayers from being answered. We want to say that the altar can be deactivated so that your prayers are not heard. And Jesus is the one that said that actually if you harbor a bitterness or anger against your brother, and you are even, even offering a gift at the altar, it will be useless if you are not reconciled. When you read the context here, and you start, say, from verse 21, you find that Jesus taught that the following things can silence the altar. First, the shedding of blood. He says that he that kills his brother and he's offering uh, 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 an offering before the Lord. Then the Lord will not hear it. The altar will be silent. His prayers will not be granted. And when we talk of killing, there are, there are many ways that we could kill. It could include things like abortion. If you have not repented of an abortion that you committed, then you have shed blood. And your gifts before the Lord will not be uh, will not be acceptable. Many of us have thought that if we offer a song of worship, a powerful prayer, maybe we will be heard. But it is clear from this passage that Jesus said that that will not be the case. He even went further and said that if you call your brother Raka, which if we interpret it in modern English, means worthless fool if you can despise people, if you look down upon them, it is reason enough for God to also neglect your prayers. If you hold an ought against your brother, he tells us, go and make peace with them. Be reconciled. The only way to make sure that your prayers are heard, answered, that your gifts are received, is by you seeking reconciliation, forgiveness, so that you are in agreement. And God is interested in this. Then after that, you can go and offer your sacrifice. How do we apply this? There are people who are seeking God's favor by going to church. There are people who seek God's favor by the service they give in the church. Perhaps you are in the worship team. Or perhaps even by giving alms, you give monies, but despite your monies, you do not see God coming through for you. I want to encourage you, my brother, make peace with God. And you make peace with God by making peace with the people that are around you. You have not seen God, you see people. And God is interested with those people because they are created in his image. But if you are guilty, you can decide today that I am going to be reconciled with God. I am going to do what I'm supposed to do. And then your altar will be open. Your door to the throne of God will be opened. And you will see greater results. So I am here to urge you, be reconciled with that brother of yours, that sister of yours, or even that neighbor that you have not been uh, living in peace with, be reconciled and your prayers before God will be answered. May the Lord bless you and have a great week. Amen. <music>